Now, if you look at the questions that you typically get in this chapter, there'll be two types of questions. In any algebra topic, there are going to be two types of questions. Flexible questions, that is variable based, where all the roots and coefficients are given to you in terms of alphas, betas, a's, b's and c's, which are very easy to solve by simple substitution. We'll see that while solving the questions. And the other ones are fixed questions, where the numbers are given to you and you need to do a calculation to arrive at the answer. You will basically see four types of questions. Flexible questions are very easy. We'll just substitute and solve. You won't even need to practice anything over there. You'll be very clear when we solve a question. In fixed question, there are four types of questions that you'll get. The first type is questions based on range of x. In that case, you'll use a graph to solve the question, right? So if you have question based on range of x, use a graph. If you have a question based on nature of roots, you will use the value of D. That is the second type of question. Third type is based on relations between roots and coefficients. There you use alpha plus beta and alpha beta. And finally, there are direct questions where a quadratic equation is given to you and you are asked to find the roots, use the quadratic formula. Right? Minus B plus or minus root D by 2A. That is it. These are the only four types of questions that you will get. So you... Either use a graph, whenever it's about range of where x lies, you use a graph. Whenever it's about nature of the roots, are they real, are they complex, use value of d. Whenever you're given something about the roots and ask something about the coefficients, use alpha plus beta, alpha beta. And finally, if you're directly given an equation and asked to find the roots, use the quadratic formula. Those are the four types of questions that you will get. Let's now start solving these questions. 